there is a low key shame around heat styling your hair. You know it, I know it, we all know it. So let's discuss it. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Suhanna. I mentioned in my most recent hair routine video that I've been heat styling pretty often. Is my hair still like super healthy? Yes. But I've been heat styling pretty often and I do almost feel like I'm betraying you guys. I'm betraying myself. And there's just like a low key shame that comes with heat styling once you make the commitment to go wavy and to embrace your hair. So I wanted to talk about that because I know I'm not the only person that feels that way. If you're a real one, like the video right now. And if you want to support causes that could really use your help, check out the links in my description, but let's dive right into this. All right, so I made the commitment to my hair and to taking care of it and making sure it's healthy and just wearing it wavy as often as possible. Three years ago, back in 2018, I was like, you know what, I'm done fighting my hair. I'm going to bring it back to life, which I have, and I'm gonna wear it wavy most of the time. I never fully stopped heat styling, like that was never completely cut out, but I did take a very, very long break. The longest I went without heat styling my hair was actually last year in 2020. It was about six months that I didn't heat style my hair because I was at home chilling and not going anywhere and it was really, really hot and humid. So I was like, I'm not gonna bother heat styling. But I think a lot of us feel this shame or this kind of like betrayal when we do heat style our hair because a lot of us prior to embracing our hair, embracing our waves, or if you have curly hair or natural hair, you would heat style as a way to hide your natural hair. You wanted to hide how your hair looked and you felt like your hair wasn't good enough. So you would heat style it to make it look better, to make it look nice, to make it look like the kind of hair that is accepted by society. Especially those of us who are South Asian. I mean, luckily for me, I'm Indo-Caribbean, so my mom has really curly hair and she always encouraged me to wear my natural hair. She would actually yell at me when I heat styled. But a lot of people who come from different cultures do not have that experience. Their parents usually encourage them to wear their hair straight or to heat style it to make it look more presentable. So once you switch over to wearing your hair just the way it is and styling it the way it is and taking care of it, you kind of still carry this mentality of when I heat style, I'm telling myself and telling others that my hair isn't good enough. And because mentally in our head, we associate heat styling and straightening and curling, whatever, with our hair not being good enough, when you do wanna take a break from your natural wave pattern or your curl pattern or whatever you have, you almost feel like you're telling other people that actually like, yeah, I've been wearing my hair the way it is, but I still don't think it's good enough. So then you feel shameful when you do it or when you join the hair community online and you're posting all these photos of your hair progress and then one day you decide to heat style, you feel like people may say something negative or at least that's the way I feel like when my hair is curled, like I like to do a fake blowout. I've shown you guys how I do it with the flat iron. I almost don't wanna post my face onto my stories on Instagram sometimes because I'm worried that someone's gonna see it. When in reality, people don't actually perceive it like that, but because we were so used to feeling like heat styling was the only way we could go, and now we've like demonized heat styling, it just makes us feel shameful when we actually do it, even though no one actually cares. And are there some people who are part of the wavy and curly communities online who feel like heat styling is the worst thing in the world and they will shame you for it? Most people don't care, most people won't shame you because sometimes you just get bored of your hair and that's fine, that's okay, that's valid. If you treat your hair like an accessory, which many of us do, you know that some outfits and some occasions just don't go with how your hair grows out of your head. Now, of course, you can style your hair naturally and it can go with whatever you're wearing or wherever you're going, I'm not saying you can't, but sometimes you wear an outfit and you feel like straight hair might look better with that outfit or curled hair might look better with that outfit than like your natural like beach waves, your mermaid waves. like. Different occasions, different looks can call for different hairstyles. And it's not shameful to want to switch it up sometimes. 
which is why now I'm like a lot more open, even though I do still feel low-key shame and I do low-key feel worried that someone might get mad at me. At the same time, I'm like, why would someone else get mad at me for what I'm doing to my hair? Especially when my hair is healthy. If I had super damaged hair, I might understand people like reprimanding me for that, but I have healthy hair. I take care of my hair and I'm not going against the community I've built here when I heat style. Like ultimately this weird shame or mixed emotions we feel about heat styling comes from our mentality prior to embracing our hair because a lot of us had the mentality of our hair wasn't good enough when we would heat style. But now heat styling is a thing that I do when I just feel like it, when I feel like it just goes with something better or I just wanna do it, but it's not something I do because I hate my natural hair, which a lot of people had that mentality beforehand and that's why it's like this, but you're allowed to heat style, you're allowed to straighten your hair from time to time. Don't make people feel like you're doing something wrong or like you hate yourself now because you felt that way in the past. Your mentality can change, everybody's mentality can change, your habits change, and it's okay to do things for yourself. So yeah, that was everything I wanted to share in this video and like get off my chest in a way because again, like, I would feel weird posting myself from time to time when my hair was hair heat styled because of that shameful feeling and the worry of other people shaming me. But it's just all in your head. It's all in a lot of people's head. And if you feel the same way, let me know. If you can relate, let me know. Leave a comment below. I love reading them. I love when you guys tell me that you can relate to what I'm feeling because it validates my feelings, okay? We validate each other's feelings with our experiences and our own feelings, okay? But yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you do want to see more videos kind of like this one, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to. You can check out my second channel if you want to. But that is it. I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.